Hello everyone! This is Janet ng Pinoy Cooking Recipes. Let's make Spanish bread na super lambo at simulan na natin. In a small bowl or cup, combine 1 half cup lukewarm water, 2 in 1 fourth teaspoon yeast, and half tablespoon sugar. Set aside to bloom for about 5 to 10 minutes. In a separate bowl or mixing bowl, add 3 cups bread flour, 1 and 1 half cups all-purpose flour, 1 half cup sugar, and 1 teaspoon salt. Add 1 cup milk, 3 large egg yolks beaten, and activated yeast, followed by half cup melted butter. You can knead this by hand or knead using a stand mixer on speed 3. Add extra all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon at a time. I added about 1 third cup all-purpose flour. Knead until it forms a smooth and elastic dough. Kneading by hand takes about 10 minutes and stand mixer for about 5 minutes. Or until you achieve a smooth and elastic dough. Form into a bowl, then transfer to a bowl greased with oil or butter. Cover and let rise in a warm place for about 1 to 2 hours. Now, let's prepare the filling. Combine 1 half cup softened butter, 1 half cup brown sugar, 3 fourth cup breadcrumbs, and 1 teaspoon vanilla. This is my dough after rising for about one and one half hours. Make sure to punch down dough to release air pockets. Transfer the dough onto a lightly floured surface. Divide the dough into two. Set aside the other one. Transfer to a bowl and cover to make sure it doesn't dry up. Form into a lug, then cut into equal pieces. Make sure to cover the dough to prevent from drying. Weight should be about 50 to 55 grams each. Flatten the dough with a rolling pin until it stretches into a triangular shape. Spread some filling, roll up, then cover with breadcrumbs. Then continue with the remaining dough. Place on a baking tray, make sure the seam is at the bottom. Cover and rise again for 30 to 45 minutes. Bake in a preheated oven, 350 degrees F or 176 C for about 18 to 22 minutes or until top is golden. Bread's internal temperature is about 190 degrees Fahrenheit. This bread remains soft even after a couple of days. I ran out of the filling, so I filled it with cheese instead. More recipes at pinoycookingrecipes.com Thank you for watching!